Fleischer's Hotel has welcomed guests since its opening in 1864. As you can imagine, there are many stories about them. Alette Jelmland, owner of the hotel in the fifth generation, is going to tell some of these. We have a special offer at the end of the video. Uh, Fleischer's Hotel was established in 1864 by Frederick Fleischer and that's why the name of the bar is Frederick's Bar and also the name of the hotel is Fleischer's Hotel. It was established here in Voss in 1864 uh, but the family came here first in 1750 and uh, his name was Johann Sackmann Fleischer, the first Fleischer who came to Voss. How everything started. This is Frederick Fleischer. Uh, and he is the one who established Fleischer's Hotel back in 1864. And he was born here in Voss. He was educated as a land measurer, so he ended up in the Civil War in America, uh, on the North States side. So he fought there from 1862 until 1864, when he returned to Voss after his father died here in 1864. And he had already decided that he wanted to establish uh, an hotel in this place, Bosterigen, that we call it. And that's what he did. He returned to Vos, he sold the family church that has belonged to the family for 100 years. He married Magdalene, his wife, and then they, together they established Fleischer's Hotel. The first tourists. Well, you know, in the mid-18th century, the first tourists came to Vos, the extreme sport, sporters of that time. They came because of the beautiful uh, scenic views and the uh, fresh water, uh, the fresh air, the nice hunting. And here you can see a nice example of a deer. And as you can see from his head, it is 16 tanks on it, meaning that it was 16 years old when it was shot in the woods here in Vos. The tragedy and the lucky outcome. When the railway came from Bergen in 1883, was ready, Frederick Fleischer decided he needed to uh, increase his business. So he was uh, expanding his business in several steps. And when it was all finished in 1888, it actually burned down to the ground. Uh, so it was a catastrophe in the family. And fortunately, Frederick Fleischer was married to a very wise woman, Magdalena, who, whose family had run hotel in Vos uh, since 1835. So she had insured the building without Frederick Fleischer knowing. So I hope she waited a couple of days before she told him that, you know, I did insure the building, which means that today we can actually rebuild it in Swiss style. And it was finished already in 1889. The dining room. Um, this is uh, a picture from the dining room uh, outside here and this is when my husband's grandmother was married in 1930, in 3rd of the September in 1930. And you can see the same mirrors in the dining room today as we have on the picture here. This is a picture from when our King Olaf was here, before he became a king. Uh, king Olaf is uh, actually the father of uh, our king today, King Harald. So he was here several times as his father was King Håkon VII as well. And also King Harald has been here. You know, the, most, the majority of the royals in Europe has been to Fleischer's Hotel because when they visited Norway at the time before we found the oil and became almost unhealthy rich, uh, the foreigners, when they wanted a, stay, a place to stay, they were searching for these historic hotels because the buildings are so nice. Uh, it's more like they were, what they were used to, where they came from. Because Norway was a farmer's country at that time. Edward Krieg's last stay. And I am very happy to tell you that Edward Krieg was here several times with his wife, uh, Nina Krieg. And we have still the piano that he used to play on when he was here. And the piano was actually bought by his uh, uncle, Ole Bull, the famous violinist, as you probably know. Uh, but Edvard Grieg was here 
uh, when he was feeling not so good. So he came here with a couple of friends and he stayed here for a week. And he wrote his last postcard from Fleisch as Hotel. And I've seen the postcard and what he has written to his friends is, well, I'm feeling all so good now. I've been here with friends, uh, enjoying the nice uh, air and the fresh waters and having a great time. And now I'm returning to Bergen as a much healthier person than I used to be. So now I'm starting to give concerts again. And that was his last postcard because he uh, left Fleisch as Hotel and he returned to Bergen and he died the week after. The Royal Toilet. Yes, this is a fantastic piece of uh, art as well. It's actually made in Sweden and it's serial numbered here. Uh, and it was made for us in order to take very good care of Kaiser Wilhelm II when he was here. And he was here three times, first time in 1890, and one of the times he brought his wife. And that is why this mobile toilet was made for them. If you open up here, you can see hay dry hay and that is why if you sit on this one the hay comes down and fill up the bucket and then when you're finishing you're taking out the bucket and empty it somewhere so this was made uh, for Kaiser Wilhelm II's wife primarily the king who did one of Norway's most popular tours Yes, I think it's very, I'm very proud that we have the signature here of King Shualongkung, the king of Siam. He was actually the first um, Asian king who recognized Norway as an independent state back in 1905. So he was here in 1907 and he went on a journey. Uh, he took the Norway in a nutshell in this area and then afterwards he went to the north to see the Northern Lights. And he actually wrote the diary. So here is his story about that journey. And a lot of our clients today, they do the exact same journey. They come here, they visit Norway in a nutshell, and then they go to Bergen and they take the ferry to up north to see the Northern Lights. And if they're very lucky, they will be able to see it. Fleischer's Hotel has a special offer to all our viewers. Use code in the description for a special discount when booking next time. Limited amount only.